Welcome to episode 58 of the Get Well With Me podcast. I'm your host, Adrienne from adriannehart.com. Our philosophy here is excellence, not perfection. I'm a clinical hypnotist and wellness advocate, and today I have a little bit of inspiration for you. So we're moving into the new year. Maybe you're just moving into a new chapter. Every day is an opportunity for a new chapter. And I wanted to kind of reframe what we usually do this time of year when we start to think about goal setting or New Year's resolutions. What if we just had affirmations? What if we committed instead of um, committing ourselves to a result? I feel like sometimes we build up a result, like I'm going to lose a certain amount of weight, I'm going to do a certain thing, and we get ourselves all psyched up. And as soon as that motivation isn't there to fuel us, um, we feel defeated. And a lot of times we just kind of backslide or then even beat ourselves up for not reaching that goal. So um, many years ago, there was a blog post that I came across, um, and it was all about process focusing. It was like about focusing on the process. And I loved that because it helped me kind of detach from the result. A lot of our suffering does come from this attachment to a thing that we have to have or a person that we have to have or a thing that we have to accomplish or, um, you know, that attachment can actually be painful when we're out of alignment with like where we think we should be and when we're not. So what if we just unburdened ourselves from all of that pressure and focused on the process of the mindset and committed ourselves to something so simple, committed ourselves to uh, reframing how we think about a new chapter or a new year. <laughs> because I'm determined that this new chapter is going to be much better than the one before. You know, when we come out of hard times, there's so much that we can learn from them. Often there's a lot of loss, like a lot of loss of what we thought our life was going to look like, what we thought the world was going to look like, what we thought was going to be available to us. Um, just our expectations just do not line up with reality anymore. And it can be hard. It can be painful, soul sucking, gut wrenching. And we're going to move away from that. We're going to let that go. We're going to be thankful for what we've learned, maybe even in some ways thankful for what we perceive that we've lost, and we're going to move forward. And my suggestion is that we do it with affirmations. And affirmations, they get a bad rap because people say, well, they don't work. Well, maybe um, the formulation of the affirmation is where they fail. So I think it's nice to keep affirmations um, general, not totally vague, but I'll give you an example. Instead of saying, I am a healthy person, ultimately, that would be great. Like if you can say that and look yourself in the eye and believe that, that's ultimately where you want to be on that topic. But let's, let's understand that when we tell ourselves something that we don't believe, believe, that that's exactly what happens. It gets shut down. The conscious mind, the... Um, the bouncer at, you know, at the front of the club says, you can't come in because that's not true. I don't believe that. So um, let's reformulate that suggestion to be, I'm leaning towards being a healthier person. I notice that I'm beginning to make healthier choices. I'm open to healthier options. I'm moving in the direction of a healthier lifestyle. There's just no resistance there. Those general, slightly vague, and less concrete 
those less concrete affirmations, they just come right in. <laughs> they come right in and they do their job. Maybe you are familiar with Emile Q, uh, Cue. I don't know how to say it. I'm not French, but he was a French psychologist. Um, and he had much success with healing and curing people with very generic affirmations. Um, the one that he's most famous for is every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. And because it's so general, the conscious mind doesn't put a stop to that. I mean, at first, maybe it says, come on, every day in every way. But because it's not so specific, it does penetrate into your inner mind. And I find it to be helpful. I've used it in my own uh, audio recordings for myself and for others. And every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. So that might be one that you could adopt for yourself that has a good track record of being very effective. I look at it like an antibiotic. Like, let's say that your doctor gives you an antibiotic because you have an infection on your finger. But the antibiotic it doesn't just cure the infection on your finger. If you had a low grade, some other type of infection, the antibiotic would go to work on that too. So that's how a more generic or less specific affirmation can be really helpful and effective for you. If you like that one, use that one. It's, it's uh, time tested every day in every way. I'm getting better and better. Um, another suggestion that uh, I use in my daily life is before I get out of bed in the morning, I have some affirmations that I say to myself. Um, some of them are uh, personal, like prayers, so I, I guess I won't share those so much, um, but I can share this with you. I got this from... Uh, the Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. I don't know, maybe I've spoken about this before because um, that was a book that I ordered and listened to on audio like several times and it just, just really resonated with me. You know, sometimes you connect with an author um, and you're just, you're on that frequency and you're like, yes, this is what I need to hear. This is what I want to hear. And um, anyway, so I took this from that book and um, I modified it a little bit for my own self, so this is not like a verbatim thing, but in the morning, before I get out of bed, just mostly every day, I do not believe in defeat. I believe in victory, and I am victorious. I believe I am always divinely guided. I believe I always take the right turn in the road. I believe God will make a way where there is no way. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I mean, it just feels so good. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. If this doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You can have your own. This is, this is the one that speaks to me. This is the one that gets me out of bed in the morning. I'm going to do it again because it felt so good. I don't believe in defeat. I believe in victory, and I am victorious. I believe I am always divinely guided. I believe I always take the right turn in the road. I believe God will make a way where there is no way. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I encourage you to have something like that. Something that when you can't think, like have you ever been so sick that you can't think? Have you ever been so depressed that you can't think of anything positive? Have you ever been so down that when somebody tells you, tell me something good, and you can't even think of one thing. What a despicable mindset that is to be in. And during those times, we need to rely on things that we have written on our hearts, written in our minds. Words have power. And we have been given the gift to use our words in our minds and verbally to share with others. It's my favorite thing is words. <laughs> I have so many books about words. I have books called Magic Words. <laughs> so I want to just encourage you to have 
So choose some words for yourself as you go into the new year or your next chapter, whenever you may be listening to this. And it's okay to borrow them from someone else. Why reinvent the wheel? There are so many brilliant affirmations, statements of faith, and you can adopt some as your own. I also encourage you, as I mentioned about saying it before I get out of bed in the morning, when we go to sleep at night, we pass through a hypnotic state to get to that deeper sleep. And then again, when we awake in the morning, um, particularly when we're in that, that REM sleep, a lot of times when we're dreaming, <laughs> um, dreams are so fun. We're going to definitely have to do an episode on dreams. But we pass through again a hypnotic state on our way to full awakening consciousness. And it's an opportunity if you never seek assistance from a clinical hypnotist, if you never purchase an audio recording um, and decide to intentionally program your mind for the life that you want to have, that's okay. This is the other way to do it. Program your mind before you go to bed. Program your mind in the morning. I find that at nighttime I'm weak. I don't have any willpower left. I used it all up. <laughs> As a matter of fact, just last night, my teenage son popped into my room and said, hey, I got donuts. I got six donuts. <laughs> I'm like, ah, like, don't tell me that right now. I'm so weak. If I wasn't so tired that I didn't want to get up and go downstairs into the kitchen, I probably would have ate the donut. That's how weak I would have been. So I don't have a lot of willpower at night. And I'm being very honest with you. I don't spend a lot of effort um, saying my affirmations at night. Typically, that's when I just hit play on a recording and put my headphones on and I wake up, the headphones are on the floor and <laughs> I'm a mess sometimes. But in the morning, I have a faithful habit, a faithful routine of speaking to myself, empowering words, words of life before I even attempt to get out of bed. I'm not saying the whole day goes perfect after that. <laughs> it doesn't. But it helps, and your words matter. The ones that you speak to yourself are some of the most important words that you speak. So I want to leave you with that. If you can come up with anything else, then you can adopt Emil QA. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. So until next time, much love. This episode was brought to you by Uncommon Knowledge Hypnosis Downloads. My closest friends know that I have a secret weapon for getting what I want, and it's hypnosis audio programs. When I discovered the power of hypnosis recordings more than 20 years ago, they were on cassette tape and I had to flip them over halfway through. <laughs> so thankfully in 2021, it's as simple as clicking play and closing my eyes. Ah, uh, modern technology. Falling asleep at night to a hypnosis program playing in my ears has not only been the key to drifting off easily, but to waking up more rejuvenated. And no doubt, it's by far the fastest way to make any lasting changes in my life. In the past, I've used hypnosis downloads for anti-anxiety, healthy eating, workplace performance, to make me into a morning person, <laughs> to enjoy cleaning, increase my self-confidence, have the motivation to exercise, and even to make childbirth easier. Yes, hypnosis can do all that because it's actually you deciding to intentionally reprogram your mind that happens to run your life. <laughs> and most recently, I noticed that procrastination was causing me to waste precious, non-refundable time. So I went on a quest to find my answer. That's when I discovered the trustworthy and professional team of hypnotists at Uncommon Knowledge. They're based in the UK, and they put ethics first. They even have a 90-day money-back guarantee to prove it. 
The quality of their hypnosis recordings absolutely speaks for themselves. Thousands of people have experienced immediate and noticeable results from listening to hypnosis downloads, and I am one of those people. So I was over the moon to find out that my podcast would be a perfect fit for a sponsor like Uncommon Knowledge. You might think it's priceless to program your mind for the body and life that you desire, and especially priceless to not even have to pick up the phone and make an appointment, to just simply put on some headphones while you're comfy and cozy in your own recliner at home. But there is a price, and it's far less than you're thinking. <laughs> for about the same amount as you would spend on your lunch, you can have the tool that you need to free yourself from misery, move towards clarity so that you can take action. Maybe you want to stop biting your nails or sleep better or quit smoking, or stop procrastinating. <laughs> What's your thing? Could now be the time to get out of your own way and hold the door open for yourself? You can do that by checking out the incredible selection of hypnosis downloads. There's a link in the show notes, or you can find it at adriannehart.com. Until next time, much love.